All right, so started working on installing this locker into my Dana 30, and I was looking at the bearings and let's see if, uh, yeah, that one looks all right. Came over here, started looking at this one. Oh my goodness, look at all that spalling. See that stuff right there? And this bearing is shot. Toast, pretty much on the verge of failure. So, yeah, the race actually looked okay, but those roller bearings are not acceptable. On the uh, bearing caps, you can see there's these marks here. There's an arrow that points up, up on the other side. This one's pointing out, that one's pointing out. When I removed the carrier, this cap was over here and this cap was over here. No good. So I'm gonna go ahead and try to take this thing apart since I need to take all these spider gears out anyway for the uh, locker. So first thing is there's this big roll pin, which uh, I don't know if you can see, goes in that hole right there. So I already drove that out from the top. Just using a roll pin punch. So that came out, now this uh, shaft should slide right out. But you can slide that shaft out, just set it aside. Next, to get these spider gears out, you can, you can rotate them. Thrust washers are gonna start to fall out. So those two came out of the top. Try to get the top one out first. You can see the bottom coming out as well. And I think that uh, those both thrust washers, uh, one top, one bottom is what it looks like. So, got one spider gear. Hold on here. There's the bottom. And uh, there's the top. So for the spider gears, I marked them. I don't know if I'm gonna use them again, but just in case I need to, I know which one's the upper and which one's the lower. The washers fell out. I don't know which was which. I don't know if it matters, but uh, I matched them up best I could. So, yeah. And same thing for the other gears. Pulled out the driver's side, marked it, and then uh, here comes the passenger side. Again, take note of the shims. Uh, I don't even know if there's a shim on that side to investigate with both hands, but I don't think there is. So I'll clean that up and mark it as well. All right, so now that I got the bearings off the carrier, I'm getting ready to press them in. I'm setting up first for the driver's side, and I've got the shims all measured out. These are the shims that I took off the driver's side and the bearing race. You can see this bearing race is all uh, spalled up or pitted. Just this thing was, it's a good thing I caught this now. Had to cut it and then uh, use the chisel to crack it to get it off. So I went through and I measured all those with the caliper and I've matched out new shims. Here are the shims, I got them all stacked up. I'm gonna put the thickest one on the bottom, get ready for the bearing. All right, so the bearing's all lined up, top of the carrier, everything's supported. Just getting the press and everything lined up. Gonna add some heat. It on a little bit you can see it's already started just want to make sure it's straight put my socket back in there make sure I'm not pushing on the uh, outside of the race make sure this thing's nice and lined up
That's about it. Perfect. So same thing, went and put the shims on, get the bearing set up on there. Gonna use a uh, impact socket to press it, make sure everything's lined up first. So I gotta adjust this a little bit. Okay, everything's lined up nicely, a little bit of heat. Same thing as before, get the socket nice and centered. Perfect. Pretty happy with the way that came out. Well, thanks for watching guys. Uh, these bearings were a lot of fun and putting the video together was uh, pretty cool. Also, luckily I had a, a press here and I was able to put that thing to good use. Getting the, uh, the, the bearings off the old one was probably the hardest part. I had to cut the, the races and then use a bearing puller. So a little more work than I thought I was gonna get into today. But when I took this thing apart to put my locker in, I looked at those bearings and they were just all pitted and showing signs of spalling and uh, yeah, wasn't good. Couldn't leave it like that. So yeah, again, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys on the next one.